Day two. Three stars. Uh, there's three total stars you can get on this level, but the first time you play this level, there are no stars, actually. And I didn't mention this in the last video, uh, and this is the first level where you get to use the plant food. Um, I am not, uh, throughout my entire guide, I am going to do my best not to buy any plant food throughout the entire game, and I'm doing my best not to use any power-ups as well. Um, because those could potentially require in-app purchases. Uh, and I'm also going to make the entire guide buying nothing. Buying only, like, spending no real money on additional plants or additional power-ups or things that could make the game easier. I'm going to have it be just as bare-bones as possible and as easily... Uh, recreatable as possible for people so that like you don't have to go ahead like you, you don't have to spend an extra five or ten bucks or whatever it would cost uh, to get the full or to, to make to make it as easy as possible I like I don't want to assume that you're gonna spend that extra money uh, and buy all the other extra stuff but of course you know like the power-ups the power-ups and the extra plant food that you can buy I mean, they're pretty cheap, actually, compared to, or like, for what you get. Like, you get those in-game coins, and you can also spend money on those coins, so it's not insane, or it's not unreasonable to assume that uh, you could buy some plant food to make it a little bit easier, or use a power-up or two on, like, a really, really tough level. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to do my best not to. So the first star challenge is don't spend any sun for the first 30 seconds, which is actually very easy. Um, if you have one of those ice flowers, uh, you can just throw that down and that doesn't count as spending sun because it costs nothing. So just put that down, freeze that first zombie, and then uh, get a pea shooter or something like that. Uh, I was talking about this in the last level, but one of my favorite little setups for uh, for this first world so far has been the Bonk Choi right behind a rock. Uh, they do a ton of damage to those guys that show up and then like put a, a repeater or a pea shooter behind him. And uh, so they get that range damage in addition to like the really close damage. Now I'm not using very much uh, plant food at all right now and uh, Something that took me a little bit, and I'm gonna make a separate video for this showing off how plant food affects all the different plants, but um, for the first couple levels, I only use the plant food on offensive plants, and I think, but you can use the plant food on those rocks, which I think is probably the most efficient way uh, to use the plant food, because it gives the rocks an extra layer of shell, basically, around it. Okay, so uh, this next challenge here, Pretty similar to the second challenge that we had on day one, which was uh, um, uh, don't let the zombies cross that line of flowers. And if you do, basically you just fail the challenge instantly. I mean, like you can still finish the level, I think, but you don't get the star for completing it. So it's, you know, obviously a huge priority for that's why you're playing this level again. So just set up a, a row of bonk choys right in front of the the flowers, or uh, just at least the rocks right in front of the flowers. And you can kind of tell, so on the second, okay, so on the, on the row where I have the two rocks, you can tell, um, if you're not too familiar with Plants vs. Zombies, you can tell that like that rock is pretty beat up. He's kind of chipped up, and if, uh, if I didn't have the resources to put another bonk choy and another rock in front of him, I would have used the, um, uh, the plant food on that rock to give him a little bit of extra durability because if that rock fell, there's a really good chance that the zombie would have crossed that line of flowers. And uh, your plants are super, super vulnerable and die super quickly when, uh, um, when the zombies start chewing at them. Like, the rocks are super essential for completing the challenges and just getting through any level, really. Uh, third challenge here. You have to collect 2,500 sun. 
Um, and the, the double sunflower is pretty essential for doing that. Um, the double sunflower, I mean, theoretically, like it's, it's important to, to use and use when you can. And then eventually as the levels get longer and longer and more challenging and have multiple waves of, uh, enemies, uh, replace the single sunflower with the double sunflower be just for space. Like you just don't have enough space sometimes to, uh, to really make a full or to like be producing enough stuff as quickly as you need to, or pr producing enough sun as quickly as you need to, to be replacing your rocks and creating more fighting dudes. And, um, eventually like, um, using repeaters or like re replacing pea shooters with repeaters and then replacing them, like upgrading stuff like that. I don't know. It gets tricky. Like this early on, it's not that important, but, uh, it does work or, it is something to be good at. Uh, the the twenty five hundred, it's not too tough to get on this level. Uh, there will be challenges later on that are much more difficult that have much higher uh, sunflower or sunflower sunshine requirements that you have to hit to to complete the star challenge.